Alright, what's good y'all? Before we start the video, I have a quick little announcement to make. From here on now, every single video, I'll be shouting out one person. And all you have to do is spam 90k in the comments the most. I'll be checking every single video. So if you spam the most, you will get a shout out each video. And it's going to be a different person each video. But if you're not subscribed, you cannot win. I will pick someone else if I click your name and you're not sub. So make sure you sub and turn on notifications. We do have merch. Merch link is in the description. And I also stream daily on Twitch. This Twitch is on the screen right now, so go ahead and drop me a follow. Also, I do announcements and giveaways on Twitter, so make sure you follow my Twitter with Nodi's on so you don't miss an update. Also, my code in the item shop is right here, so if you guys want to support me even further, just come right here and use my code in the item shop when you purchase any cosmetic items. But yeah, enjoy the video. today i got you guys with the best controller settings as of right now so while i'm like showing you guys the setting this isn't a montage or anything so while i'm showing you guys the settings i want you guys to be watching and adjusting your settings so you guys can have the best settings possible so let me just show you guys right now i am controller as most of you know already but we're gonna start off with the first tab uh i'm on pc by the way okay so graphics that's really preference it doesn't matter uh what i i used to do uh try to know because it's like it's like bright and it looks good in montages but like regular just feels better and it's kind of like the same uh color bond strength doesn't really matter it's preference but my 3d resolution is always going to be on 100 my textures are on low and i'm on performance mode and i play on low meshes it's low and high meshes i usually switch depending on um how i'm how i'm feeling but low meshes are definitely better so i would like majority of the time i'll be using low meshes because it's just better and it feels better like delay wise on uh, my second tab none of this really matters i'm gonna go down to the to the uh building tab reset building choice always gonna have that on disable pre-edit i don't pre-edit anything and i'm on confirm edit on release so i can't really pre-edit anything so i have everything on this tab on turbo building doesn't it's self-explanatory we have that on all right, if you go down, we have replace off. We want to have those off to reduce any type of in input delay because you don't want anything recorded in the background. So turn replace off. Uh, this really doesn't matter. We're actually going to come back to this, so just keep that in mind. Controller settings. These are my settings. My edit hold time is on the lowest. My slide hold time is on halfway. Um, Building edit 2.8. And I do play claw, I play claw, double claw on a PlayStation 4 controller. Uh 50 50 for the for look sensitivity. ADS is 1414. This is really good. Like for AR aim, it is so good. I swear I don't miss a shot with AR. So make sure you try this out. And also, this like your your ADS sensitivity is always gonna be affected by your your look sensitivity so you might want to copy my settings if you want that ar aim i'm telling you but uh my dead zone i use i usually have on 10 10 10 10 dead zone is actually really good but i just recently took off my control freak so i felt a little stiff so i reduced my my dead zone by one so i play on 9 9 it might change in the future who knows but i play on linear um foot controller Foot control is like a sensitivity for your edit. So like while you're in your edit, it's like a sensitivity. I usually like have it on 50 just because if I have it all the way on zero, I'm gonna feel like slow when I edit. Like I'm not gonna really be hitting edits. So like, for example, if I if I have it on zero, like sometimes when I edit, I won't be able to reach that third tile if I was trying to do an edit like this. So I would usually like miss the, the last tile. I usually like stop right here. And when I have it all the way like to 50 or something, I wouldn't mess it up. I would always have I would always have it perfect. So 50 is like my perfect like uh, setting for for controller. Sometimes when I feel slow, I put it on 100. It's always that it's either 150 or zero. You guys can play around with it, get a perfect sensitivity for it. But me personally, that's what I do. So yeah, I have that. And these are my binds right here. 
and one thing every time i close my fortnite it like resets but i always have my controller platform on xbox one i'm on a playstation 4 controller if you're on like console you can't do this but pc players this is this is the uh controller input you want to have it's the least input delay generic is the second least and playstation 4 i don't know what it is about it i just can't play on it it makes me feel delayed like delayed so i don't really play on it but i always have on xbox one i play on custom bonds obviously and um one setting that i can show you is you want to find the unbound bond so let's for example let's use touchpad um you go all the way down until you see switch mode slash edit and in my case with my unbound bond was circle or b so i click that so you scroll all the way down press switch mode slash edit and it's like reduces a lot of delay when you're editing it's going to feel so much better and how you know you did it is when you build the unbound bond that you clicked is going to be your new edit with a little circle around it so it's not going to show your actual edit it's going to show your switch mode slash edit so keep that in mind all right and um my switch mode is left stick my edit is triangle use my like reset bonds but yeah i'm gonna show you guys some secret settings that that uh, most people don't know about so these are some tricks this one is actually for pc only you can't really do it on can't really do it on a, a console so right here your frames put it on unlimited and your resolution you want to put that down to about i don't know 85 i'll say 85 the game looks exactly the same and what it does is like i don't know it just feels so much better it feels like zero input delay try that out if you haven't and also one more setting before i go is all the way down here it is target info now what target info does is as you see when you have regular builds it shows everything on the screen as well as when you place the build when you go down to the settings and you turn off target info it actually takes away everything and i don't know what it does it reduces input delay but less input delay is going to be like better than anything so i would try this if not i would only do it in creative because you know obviously if you take someone's wall you're not going to know if it's yours or theirs so it's kind of like russian roulette so i would only do this in creative but yeah try that out and all those settings that i just showed you just try it out see how it feels i'm telling you it's going to feel better just let me know if this video helped at all just make sure you hit the sub button and the like button when to roll to 100,000. so go ahead and help me out and also, we do have merch. Make sure you guys check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm out.